In this problem, we're being asked to find if a equals 3 and b equals negative 2, what is the value of the expression a to the negative 2 over b to the negative 3? So let's recall some exponent rules before we dive in. What does it mean if you have x to the negative 1? Well, that basically means that you have 1 over x to the 1. So whenever there's a negative exponent, that means that that entire term moves down into the denominator, but the exponent becomes positive. And of course, when the exponent is only 1, we don't even have to write it. So in this case, this would just equal 1 over x. Let's do another example. What if we were to have 1 over y to the negative 5? So it works the same denominator. If you have a, a term with a negative exponent in the denominator, it moves to the numerator. But when it's in the numerator, the sign of that exponent changes. So y to the negative fifth would just become y to the fifth. And that would be over 1. So we don't have to write over 1, so this would just be y to the fifth. So basically what's going to happen in this problem is that the a term in the numerator, because it has a negative exponent, is going to get sent to the denominator. And the b term, because it has a negative exponent, is going to get sent to the numerator. So a to the negative 2 over b to the negative 3, they're going to switch positions. And both of their exponents are going to become positive. So this becomes b cubed. So it's not negative anymore. Now that negative 3 just became a positive 3 over a squared. And you can do that in two separate steps, but if you can see it, it's fine to do it in one step. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and make the substitutions. We know exactly what a is because we've been told up here a is 3 and b is negative 2. And if we make that substitution, we can calculate what this equals. So b is negative 2. So now notice what I do when I substitute. I'm putting negative 2. I'm putting it in parentheses because it has a negative sign. That's part of what b equals. So it's not 2 that's being cubed. It's the quantity, negative 2, that's going to be cubed. And that's important. And in the denominator, it's a squared. a is 3 squared. Now you could put that in parentheses as well. It turns out that that's inconsequential whether you do or don't but it wouldn't be wrong if you were to include parentheses there as well. And now what does this equal? Negative 2 cubed is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. If you're not sure, put it in your calculator. But that equals negative 8. Now notice that might be a different result than you would get perhaps if you had kept the negative on the outside. It might have come out to be different. Actually, I think in that case you might get away with it because the negative would be out front and then it would be 2 cubed which is positive 8 and the negative would uh, would give you negative 8. So you might get lucky but don't be lucky, be right. And uh, in the denominator it's 3 squared so that's 9 and that's it. So that is choice 3 and we are done.